quick video here on estimating sine x uh, using an array. We did this problem in class probably a month ago. And if you remember, we just kind of adjusted the number, the sum. We did three and ran it and got an estimate. And then we just kept on doing it until we got enough, enough terms to get within seven decimal places, which turned out to be five. So you can see me doing it there, okay? However, with loops, we can do this much more efficiently with loops and conditionals. So I have the exact same stuff here. And if you look, I just do four, n equals zero to 10, same formulas that I had before. I calculate the error right inside the loop. And I check if the error is less than, uh, if it's smaller than e uh, to the 10 to the minus seventh, then it jumps out of the loop, it breaks, gets out of the loop and prints it out, okay? And so when I run this one, it gives me the five iterations. I don't have to fiddle with it at all. I've got it immediately. I can also do this with a while loop, same kind of thing, and this is the while loop. You know, same, I have to set up a couple constants here, but I'm gonna throw them all into an array here with a counter on it, okay? And I build the same formulas, just have this in array now, okay, with a counter on it, okay? And when um, I put an emergency get out of jail free here with the break, but in general, as soon as the air is greater than, that when this is no longer true, okay, that the error is greater than this, it stops and prints out and prints out the answer. And so when I run that, boom, you get the same answer, of course, as we've got before. Let's see if I can pull that down right here. Okay, so this works pretty well.